So questions seven and eight all revolve around the idea of photosynthesis. Um, and so for these questions in particular, and I know we're two weeks away from the biology exam, but really all you need to know with photosynthesis are the processes that occur. So knowing the inputs, the outputs of the light independent and dependent phases, also knowing the locations in which these phases actually occur when these processes do occur and like i said the inputs and outputs and if you know that then these questions won't seem challenging to you whatsoever because all you're doing is looking at what is consistent with the information that you know so you just got to back yourself in so with question seven it asks during photosynthesis in chloroplasts Energy is used to split water, forming oxygen and hydrogen ions. So we know we're splitting water into oxygen and hydrogen ions. I immediately think from that, the light dependent phase. I already know that. So I'm going to get rid of the independent for our reactions already from the get-go. Um, when I look at the next thing, the splitting of water occurs in what? Well, we know that the light dependent phase occurs in the grana. And so we know that grana is consistent with light dependent reaction. Therefore, we are going to circle B and we can immediately rule out D. Therefore, B is the answer. Moving forward into question eight, um, an increase in atmospheric CO2 level increases the rate of photosynthesis. So it's an increase in atmospheric CO2 and that increases the rate of photosynthesis. The rate of photosynthesis increases because of what? Reason. So we know that atmospheric CO2 will really influence only the light independent phase. So we know we're looking in the light independent reaction. So just immediately, I'm just going to look at A and D just to have a look at actually what they say. And so we know we're looking at A that we're really looking at the idea of it occurring in the stroma. So we can rule out A from the get go. We go to D, and that's obviously light independent reactions in the stroma. That makes sense. So tick, tick increases with the increase in CO2 level. And that's true because it's CO2 is an input and therefore the reaction rate will increase. Your answer is D.